Hi guys, it's Lily. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and today I got three thread up boxes. One, I already uploaded my designer um, box that I was so excited because I got my first furla. Spoiler alert, but you've probably already seen it if you watch my videos. Um, disappointing to find out that it's probably not worth what I thought they were worth, but um, I'm probably going to keep that one because I've always wanted one and it looks old and vintage like me, so I'm going to fix the strap and keep it. Now, I already tried to do this unboxing and my grandson came in, bumped my ring light with my phone on it and and it went off. So, I have to start over. So, unfortunately, um, I've already, I had already unboxed the designer. Uh, or not designer, name brand handbag box. And I had just opened the coach handbag box when he came in and did that. So I've already seen these and I've seen one item in the coach box and that's it. So I'll just go through this real quick with you. This is name brand handbag from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, this first item um, is a Michael Kors and it's Michael Kors not Michael Michael Kors um, backpack and it's in really good condition um, just a little bit of wear on on just two of the corners really um, the one that hits the jeans on the back side so um, and the interior was in really nice condition it has a zipper two slip pockets there Two slip pockets on the other side. Um, I did have, I do need to clean the inside, but the liner doesn't come out. It's pretty clean. There's just a few spots on the bottom that um, I'm going to try to get out. Um, but this is really nice, and I did uh, go ahead and do comps on this box while I was waiting for my designer to upload. Um, so this one. This one retails for like $3.98. Um, and there's sold, sold comps both on Posh and eBay between $120 and $160. So I'm probably going to list this somewhere around $100, $110 maybe uh, on Poshmark. Um, I'll do, um, if you want to go outside of Poshmark and go through PayPal, I'd probably do um, 65 plus shipping. Um, if you're interested, um, that's what I'll do on that. If not, it'll be on Poshmark once I get it cleaned. And here we have another um, Michael Kors. I believe this is a Michael Michael Kors. Let me just double check. This one is a Michael, Michael Kors, um, hobo bag, and it's in really good condition. The lining has a few um, spots on it, and it's got one little itty bitty uh, tear in the first lining, but not the second lining. So I'm probably just going to take a dab of fabric glue so that it doesn't go through the second lining and disclose it. Um, and I'm going to do that before I wash it, I think. No, I'll do it after. Um, but it is dirty, and I need ice, so I need to clean that lining good. But the outside is perfect condition. I think um, I did find comps on this one. No, I didn't. But it also retails for $3.98 as a Michael Michael Kors. Um, I couldn't find anything comparable for sale for that one. So I don't have any idea on that one. Uh, here is a Dooney & Burke shopper bag. Um, this one has some... It's beautiful on the outside. It does have two... Just a little bit of rubbing. This might come off. I'm not sure. Um, and two of the corners have a little bit of rubbing. That one and this one. Um, straps looks really good. 
Um, the inside has a, a lot of ink and you don't see it there until, until I open the zipper pocket where somebody's ink exploded. Now this is cotton, cotton lining, so I don't see me being able to get that out, but I'm going to try. Otherwise, it's very clean and, and nice. If I can't get it out and I can't sell it to get my money back, I'll keep it to go to the grocery store, I guess. And here is a Rebecca Minkoff tote. Um, these are selling pretty good. I thought it looked to be new-ish, but the inside is pretty dirty. Um, you can see all along here. So it has been used, but whoever had it used it well. And I do need to fix the edge coating, which is going to be an easy fix. So that might be one of my next videos. Um, because it's just, it just needs a little bit of work and the lining cleaned and she'll be ready to list. And she is selling between 70 and 120 on Poshmark. So I will probably do off Poshmark 60. Otherwise I'm gonna list it for probably 90-ish on Poshmark. Is that four? One, two, three, four? Yep. Okay, so number five is this Kate Spade um, wallet. Let's get the zipper here for the coins, which is dirty. I'm definitely going to have to clean that. Um, but the rest of the wallet is um, in excellent condition. And I think they call this, what do they call it? I don't know. I found a comp on Poshmark for $25 for this. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, overall it's a good, decent box. I mean, I'll make my money back and nothing spectacular. Um, but I'll make a little bit of profit from... Uh, even if I don't list the Dooney and Burke or the Kate Spade, I'll probably make a little bit of profit off of the other three. And now we get to do the coach. This is also from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I pull, I did see one item out of this box before my grandson came in. <laughs> and that was my accessory, which is a coach wallet. Um, it's dirty, as you can see, but very cleanable. It's not that dirty. Um, it's in really good condition on the inside. There's no peeling. There's no, it's not really dirty. It's just a simple wipeout. The change, the change compartment, I'll have to, Clean a little bit extra, but money is dirty, so that's what happens. It's when it's used, you can't avoid it. So anyway, this is still in in really good shape. Now I haven't seen any of this, and that's the way I like to do it with you guys, so that it's a surprise for me and for you. Okay, we have a coach. A black coach crossbody zipper on the outside. You got your hang tag and the inside is really clean. There's one slip pocket here. It's pretty big, big enough for a phone. And I believe this might have nope. Just made in China. There's no other tag, I don't think. Sometimes they have a number. On these little cross bodies, and sometimes they don't. Then it's just got some lint stuff I need to clean out, but other than that, it's very clean. No marks in the leather, a little bit of wear on the corners, but I can fix that really easy. Um, so this isn't bad. 
And cross bodies don't go for a whole lot, but I'll get my $22 back from that. <sighs> Maybe not so much on this one. This is another crossbody with the signature C's. I do need to clean it. But I don't see any damage other than just uh, needing to clean it. I don't know if you can see all that in here, but it needs to be cleaned. There is no hang tag. Inside looks pretty good. There's no creed. Does need to be cleaned. Of course, they all need to be cleaned, in my opinion. Does have some ink. But this is the satiny silk lining, so that should be pretty easy to clean up. I find ink comes off of that type of lining easier than. Um, I like the fact that it's wider at the bottom on on the crossbody instead of flat, but I think that flat one will probably sell for more. So this will be iffy on getting my money back. Oh, this is the it must be that last one. Okay. This is a nice coach. It's different. It's like your summer white. I don't know if this is in the leather or if it's going to wipe off. It's got your hang tag, a tassel. Hardware is really heavy. Uh, grading all the way around. Nice feet. All right, so it has one of them zippers that come all the way off. Oh, please don't go off on me. Okay, two slip pockets. There's a creed, it is factory. 13084. And the zipper it looks pretty clean. I mean, you know, I clean it, it needs to be, I always clean it. Um, but this is an interesting one. This is not your your norm, and these are the kind of coaches that I like to collect. Um, the ones that are are different, and I like this one. This is pretty neat. I'll have to comp it out and see if it's going to be worth me selling it if I want to add it to my collection. Um, I had a bag coming from another youtuber that i bought to add to my collection is supposed to be here yesterday it said it was on the truck yesterday it wasn't on the truck again today so i'm not sure where it's at but i'll be excited to get that one. Oh well look here hmm a coach backpack black coach backpack and has the coach hang tag Make sure all the straps are good. The straps are good. The bottom is good. Let's just hope the inside is good. So, it is dirty. I don't know if you can see all that in there. But it is dirty. I'll have to clean that. It's got the drawstring clothes. black is so hard to see all right so inside here it's got a zipper and then it's got the creed six zero eight zero trying to see where this one was made doesn't say where this one's made there is a creed let's see if this line comes out yeah it does and again, it's just um, pretty dirty. I just need to clean it. Um, so yeah. Uh, overall, I think um, I'm happy with this box. Oh, look at the backpack. So that's going to be probably 
a decent sale. Um, this nice white one is probably going to be a decent sell. Depending if I can get this off and fix those nicks there. This is going to be so-so. Just kind of what people buy that it's not, I'm not saying low end, but it's low price point for to sell and buy. Nice little crossbody. Another leather crossbody. That's very thin, streamlined. And then a coach wallet. I, ha I got the black box today. Everything in here is black except for the white, and it has black trim. So um, I'm still happy with it. I think, again, I think I'll make my money back. Um, Maybe not if I keep the white one, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. The backpack is probably, the white one in the backpack is probably the most dollar amount in here. We'll go from there. So, yeah, overall, the two of them, they're decent. I've had better, um, but I've had worse. So, um, I'll knock it around for a few days and then decide. Um, <laughs> more if, it, if I like it or don't like it <laughs> but anyway I'm happy with it overall I'm happy so leave me comments tell me what you think of the box I know it's not the best box but I've got some a couple good pieces um, that should pay for the boxes overall and luckily I order a lot and I, and so it all kind of works out in the end um, I get some that I can't sell for much, but then I get some that I can sell for a lot to make up for those. So, I mean, it does it does work out in the end. Um, I just have to be patient. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> anyway, I have a couple jewelry coming. And then, oh my goodness, the fun boxes were up today. And uh, my friend Cindy sent me a message telling me they were up. So I got one. I said, I'm just going to get one. And so I got one and then I refreshed the page and it was still up and I'm thinking, well, that's odd. And then I sent a message just to one of my other friends telling them the fun box was up. And they got one and it was still up. So I went to get a second one and I swear the website just spazzed out on me and it just kept saying working and working and working. And so I just, I went completely out. And I waited a few minutes and I went back in. Um, I had to go back in like three times because the website, the page wouldn't come up at all. And I went back in and it was still up. So I got, I hit it two more times. And then I got my confirmation for my order. And I'll be darn if that thing didn't give me five boxes, five fun boxes that I swear I only hit it for three. I swear. Um, so, and I already have four coming from last week. So I've got then now, what, nine fun boxes? That's scary. I didn't mean to order that many today. Last week, yes, I ordered four because I hadn't had one in a long time. I hadn't been able to snag them. Um, but today, I, I only got three. And I waited. I gave people time to, to get it. Um, and then with the freeze, I don't know what happened, but it... it went ahead and charged me even though I backed out of the site so I ended up with five today so if you were getting a fun box I am so sorry if you missed it but they were still up after I got my receipt so they must have had a lot today anyway I'd like to hear from you is there anything in here that you think is worth uh, more I know the Michael Kors backpack is um, is a good deal for me that's probably going to be the most expensive thing listed in these two boxes. The coach, I'm not really sure. I need to research it. Um, if I had a student in my family, like a college, high school college student, I would probably hold on to that and give it as a gift, but I don't. So um, that all those will be listed, except for probably, I don't know, the Dooney and Burke. That's, that bothers me that much ink. I can't sell it like that unless you want it like that I'll clean it as best I can but I don't think it's going to come out we'll see 
anyway, I hope everyone has a good night. Um, take everything with a grain of salt. It gets better. And really, that's all. I'm just glad that I'm, I'm able to get these and sell the items and get more. And I just, I, it's fun to me. I really I enjoy it. I enjoy the mystery of what I get. Um, I even and sometimes enjoy the stress of trying to figure out what I what I'm going to be able to sell and what I'm, what I'm not going to be able to sell. So and hopefully sometimes get something that I can keep, um, which is not very often. I don't keep a whole lot of stuff um, in the fun boxes, maybe, um, but in the other boxes, not so much. Anyway, everyone have a good night. I will see you again in the next few days. I do have two jewelry box, 15 piece jewelries coming. Um, jewelry's kicking my butt. And I'm not familiar with it enough. Uh, and my eyesight is so bad, it's uh, difficult for me. But I did get several pieces listed this morning. Um, anyway, I will see you again in the next few days with jewelry. So be patient with me on the jewelry. All right, everyone have a good night. Lily out.